After one of the longest Eurozone summits on record, leaders of the bloc's 19 members finally struck an accord, committing $96 billion to Greece for the next three years and safeguarding its place inside the single currency. Someone can say that we have an agreement. After 17 hours of negotiations, we have finally reached it. Talks were fraught with difficulty. The framework was redrafted multiple times to ensure that Greece stick to its commitments. Germany was forced to drop its insistence that the country take a five-year break from using the euro, while Greece didn't get all the debt relief that it was after. But in the end, all sides acknowledged there was too much to lose. And the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages, and we do find the basic principles here which have always guided us in saving the euro. Greece's third bailout in five years will see $55 billion placed in a special fund set up to privatize state assets. Of that, $27 billion will go to replenishing the nation's banks. But before the cash is coughed up, lawmakers in Athens must ratify the reforms by Wednesday. Not an easy task in a country which just said no to further austerity. Today's agreement keeps Greece in a state of financial stability. It gives the possibilities for a recovery. It will, however, be an agreement whose implementation will be difficult. After that, the plan must pass through five more parliaments, including Germany's Bundestag. The Eurozone's deal for Greece may keep it in the monetary union for now, but, as Chancellor Merkel indicated, it'll be some time before that other important currency is restored. Trust. Nina Dos Santos, CNN, London.